For over three decades, Professor Robert Batt's publication, Duties and Responsibilities of Directors and Officers, has served as the go-to source for directors, corporate lawyers, academics, and the broader Australian governance community. 2016 marks the 21st edition of this book, one that serves to provide for a clear understanding of the fundamentals of the challenging legal and regulatory environment within which directors, officers, and the boards of companies must operate. Keeping this publication up to date is very important in a changing business and political landscape. Well, when I started working with the Institute uh, many, many years ago, over 40 years ago, there was virtually uh, nothing out there that uh, dealt with these issues in a comprehensive fashion. And what I try to do in the book, and what's been uh, attempted by others who uh, also wrote previous editions, is to provide sensible signposts, as it were, for directors in running their companies. The 21st edition is uh, a book that covers the major duties and responsibilities of directors, how they are to be assessed and are being assessed by the courts, the dangers of uh, getting carried away too much by uh, notions of you know, a broader corporate social responsibility, which, was, which whilst it is very important in the context of being good citizens, may not necessarily uh, be reflective of what the law is and how the law is to be interpreted. And directors need to be warned of the dangers of getting too carried away with some of these concepts unless they align them to the uh, legal obligations that they have. Corporate social responsibility has become a major catchword for the business community, for politicians, for the media, because everyone is expecting the way in which companies should be run is that it's not just for the shareholders. To continue to embrace the idea that you know, we've got a broader corporate social responsibility can create very significant tensions uh, which you need to watch out for because when the case comes before the courts to evaluate, you'll be held to have breached your, your duties to the company. Well, the world is becoming more and more uh, one big market, as it were. Australia is very much involved in signing up free trade agreements with lots of countries and uh, what we uh, will have to deal with is just how Australian laws and the way in which they're interpreted fit in with the way uh, countries other than Australia adopt these uh, or deal with these questions. So lots of lots of questions that will continue to come before the Law Committee. Its work will never end in my view.